first I want to get my size in here. Now what I want to do was come back into this here and click one point and then one point. Now what I think this distance represents equals one meter. So what I want to do is find out two feet, what it equals to, because I'm from America and we use them here. And I think it's probably, maybe we'll say one and a half, 1 1.5. And I want to come in here to length. I want to go to centimeter. I want to go one feet, about one and a half feet to meters. So I'm going to go 1.5 feet equals about 4.57. Dang, guys. That's literally like rocking my desk. Jeez. All right, it was like a bulldozer slamming his, his, his bucket down into the ground, cracking the asphalt so they can dig it up. Crazy. Right, okay, so we got 45.72. So what I'm gonna do for distance, I'm gonna go 0.4572 and set scale. All right, so that's gonna give me my scaled and distance reference here. And let's go ahead and jump back into the layout. Now, if we look at our play, our player speed playback here, it's like six, five FPS, right? It's, it's horrible. So the way we can fix that, come back into your motion tracking. We're gonna go click proxy, scroll this down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the original and I wanna make a 50% proxy of the original, hit build proxy. So it's going to build the proxy there in the background. All right, and once that's done, so you can jump back into your layout here. And then what you do is you click on your camera. And then what I do is go to background images. And then there's a thing here right here where it says proxy render. And I'm just gonna go 50%. Render undistorted is check, click that. So now it's just gonna render the straight video. And then if you did, if you see how it does say render distorted, what you want to do is if you want to make a render distorted run with the lens distortion, all you do is just click on this bottom one here, select your percentage, 50% here, build undistorted, and it will basically render an undistorted version. So you can basically see what that's going to look like. So boom, there it is. Now, if I hit undistorted, that's the undistorted version. I mean, that's the distorted version. And then this is the undistorted version right there, 50%. So either or, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to crank the opacity up to 100%. And then my color space here, I could change this right to like something like sRGB so I can see what it's looking like because I'm using EXRs, but it doesn't really matter because once we get back into video. All right, so that's looking pretty solid there. Now we got, look at our playback. Now our playback is full and it's nice and even. So what you could do here, I got my ground plane there and you can just start to build out your scene. Uh, one of the look quick thing that will help you also to build your scene, what you could do is jump back into your motion tab, select A, select all your points, and here go to 3D markers to mesh. Click that and then what it's going to do, if you jump back, it's like, boom, you've got like a marker, you got like a point cloud so you can kind of see to maybe use and help you to build your scene out, which uh, works out really nice, it's quick and easy, right? So boom, there I can, it's just a good reference point to see where my point should be, where my ground plane should be. So I can jump back in here and let's say go to my ground plane and quickly jab tab into this, edit, scale X, right? And then we'll go scale Y, something like that. G, Y, move it forward just a tad bit. So we're gonna be back out of there. And then if I wanted to build this side geometry, like it's a good reference point. I can see where my points are at, which is gonna help. And there's a way that you can actually select these points. I forgot how I did it. I'm gonna to have to research. Picture me guys. So uh, taking these tracking points, right here, if you go and select all these tracking points, and then if you go into, where was it? Geometry, 3D markers to mesh. And then you're gonna have all of these mesh points here. You can use them to build your scene. Originally, they're gonna be little green dots and then you tab into them. When you go in the tab and hit edit, make sure you're on vertex here, the vertex selection. And then I can collect, I can click on it, right? You can click on individual ones. And the benefit of this, check this out. What I can do is I can select a couple of these points like this. And then if I just press F, it fills it in. So now I can literally like build a ground plane off of these points by just selecting some points and fill in the geometry. So that's a really quick and easy way if you really wanted to build out some geometry uh, by using these, these points here and these point clouds. So that's just something I wanted to share with you really quickly.
but I, I, I was able to select these points and then use those points to connect to fill in geometry, which also works out really cool. But for the sake of this video here, what I'm gonna do also here, now we got my ground plane and I'm gonna go ahead and extrude up here on the sides. We'll select that, extrude Z and kind of pull that up like that. And see that even gives us a reference to tell how high we really should go. Let's go even higher, GZ. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is also extend this back here and go GY, pull that all the way back there to the distance. We can go GY like that. And that helps there. So what I'm gonna do from now